Today I wanted to talk about uh, scanning programs, and there's two simple scanning programs. One is called, surprisingly enough, Simple Scan. And it's a wonderful, nifty little program, and it's a little more powerful than what this first opening window shows you, in that you can go into Documents, come down in the Preferences, and be able to customize your scan a little bit. You have text resolution, you can change that. Photo resolution, you can change that. Whether you're scanning the front and the back, front or back, etc. You can adjust the brightness, contrast, and quality. And of course, what your scanning doc, uh, scanner equipment is. So it's very simple to use. And here I would have start a new document, scan. And I can just click on that one button and I'm scanning right now I think I just put in a blank piece of paper so it's going to go ahead and scan it and then once it's scanned I'll have the ability to save it in a variety of formats crop it rotate it left and right I click here and get the same commands rotate left rotate right crop copy over under documents I can also open up my email client straight from here which is kind of nice and I can also print so it is a wonderfully simple but yet fairly powerful program for scanning and I recommend Simple Scanner. Now one of the areas I find problems with it is when you do scan a document you only have a couple of choices for uh, what DPI you're using. So I can use text and photo so if I collect on text come back here preferences photo resolution text I'm 150 to 300. If I wanted to, say, deposit a check at my bank through their Bank at Home program, they recommend or require 200 DPI, and I just don't have that choice here. Now, I have done it in the past at 300 DPI, and it's been accepted. So I don't think it's a major problem. So let's close out of that. Now we can save our document. and it's being default saved as a PDF When I come down here I can save it as a JPG or a PNG okay so let's cancel out of that cancel out of that quit without saving the other programs a little more involved and it's interestingly enough called Xane X S A N E and oh, here we go and there it is so I've got two windows and here I've got a little more control and a little more power on my uh, in my windows to use so file info quit preferences set up enable color here I can choose whether I want to uh, scan the document in color or in gray I find that to be very useful because a lot of times I'm requested to scan documents in black and white only. Full color range. I can adjust for negatives. The dots per inch, I have a little more flexibility and I have that magic 200 for my bank. And here I can adjust the gamma value, the brightness, contrast. So I have a little more flexibility using Xane and I tend to use it more than I do simple screen or simple uh, scanner but both programs are very good and I highly recommend you check out one or the other and here you go we're gonna save it here and I believe Xane lets you save the program in a few more file formats so if you need just simple scanning choose simple scanner and if you're doing a little more complex scanning choose Xane And there we go. And that is, in fact, an uh, empty page I've managed to save. Now I can save the image, come down here, and I do have quite a few different varieties to save it as. So that's very important. Thanks for watching.